Hello there. Do you have any idea of what the future of a meal worker will look like? I can assure you, it's cool, clean, and clever. Believe it or not, the future of a meal worker can be found based on three different perspectives, from manual to digital. And the skills needed and the job titles for the future meal worker, and also ways of attracting future labor. Let's go and find them out. What is pushing behind from manual to digital, and what is the result of this kind of transformation? I believe you have some clear answers already, right? Yes, the manufacturing workforce has been absorbing new technologies for more than two centuries. Today, the industry finds itself in the midst of the fourth industrial revolution, known as Industry 4.0, which is poised to transform work at an unprecedented pace through exponential technologies, such as artificial intelligence, advanced robotics, cognitive automation, and the Internet of Things, to just name a few. The automation is the most obvious change, comes hand in hand. So as the rise of automation, manufacturing workers, they are increasingly relying on digital tools to effectively complete their works. And it has brought with it an interesting corollary for the skills needed in human workers. As technology replaces many of the manual or repetitive tasks many jobs entail, it also frees up space for skills that are uniquely human, often called soft skills. A recent World Economic Forum study found that the top 10 skills for the next decade include essential human skills such as critical thinking, creativity, and also people management. Companies need these workers that can exhibit these skills, as well as the digital skills necessary to work alongside automation. Another change is driven by artificial intelligence. Machines and components used to be silent servant without eyes and ears. Today, production machines, not least due to AI technology, they are increasingly evolving into responsive and extremely alert partners. Cameras scan their surroundings, for example, prevent work accidents, and microphones record noises and detect trouble. Other sensors such as laser measure gaps, volumes, surface shapes, or even temperatures. The data exchange between the machines enables them to capture the working worlds on all new levels. Both the machines themselves and the central computers, they are continuously improve their ability to correctly interpret the data. So the key to success being smart software. With the smart software, we will have better central process control. And our raw day meal sites is such kind of smart software. It is a revolutionary data collection management information system for the wood processing industries. And it's specially designed for veneer plywood and laminated veneer lumber production, which is also known as LVL. MuleSite software, it collects comprehensive data from the essential elements in the production. With data-driven production, you produce higher quality veneer sheets, panels, and LVLs. You use less raw material and energy, and in the end, make more profit. So all the above mentioned digital technologies will result in leaner organizations. Since mills are getting more and more automated, the manual stuff will be done by robots and machines, including in-house logistics or storage handlings. It's quite apparent that the amount of people needed in future meal will decrease, and the jobs will be very much based on information and making sure that machines operate as they should be. Data and information-based operations, they require to approach the production from a different angle. And the humans need to be put in the loop, rethinking work architecture, 
or retraining people and rearranging the organizations to leverage technology and to transform business. The broader aim is not just to eliminate the routine tasks and cut costs, but to create value for the customers and meaningful work for the people. So regarding the people, let's take a closer look at a future meal worker. Who will be working in the future meal? Times have changed, and it's simply not as easy as just walking up to the meal gates, announcing that you are looking for a job. The traditional meal hierarchies will die, and the meals now, they require a skill base that wasn't required 30, 40, or 50 years ago. With digitalization, meal workers, they must have a much stronger skill base on science, automation, math, and engineering type of skills. Since traditional tools will be replaced with digital tools, instead of a traditional engineer-based education, we start to see meal workers with backgrounding, data science, robotics, and system knowledge. Future meal worker, they need to have strong self-directing and collaboration skills. The ability to understand and act based on data is an essential skill for future meal workers. So in other words, a future meal worker is no longer an operator, but an operator analyst. So with that, we are seeing a whole bunch of new potential job titles appearing. Let me take a few examples. The first one I'm going to introduce is Digital Twin Architect. So this is the person who creates a virtual representation of both the physical elements and the dynamics of how an IoT-connected product operates and interacts with its environment throughout its entire life cycle, ranging from a jet engine, aircraft, to a shop floor, or an assembly line, or even an entire factory building. So the digital twin architects make it possible to virtually see inside any physical asset, system, or structure that could be located anywhere in the world, so thereby helping to optimize its design, monitor its performance, predict its maintenance, and improve the overall experience. Another example is collaborating robotics technician. So this profession's responsibility is to set up and maintain collaborative robotic systems. They build, install, test, and maintain robotic equipment or related automated production systems. They will also make repairs to robots or peripheral equipment, such as replacement of defective circuit boards, sensors, controllers, encoders, or servo motors. One more example is robot teaming coordinator, a profession who trains humans and robots to work together collaboratively. As the key enabler of a collaborative human-machine workforce, robot teaming coordinators, they oversee robots from all functions that interact with humans to enable human rapport with robots and ensure optimal human-machine interactions. Robot teaming coordinators, they are an evolution of the typical process engineer and the change management experts in the manufacturing enterprises. These individuals, they typically design business processes that integrate robotics into production and also the distribution operations while also considering the enduring human skills that the employees bring to the value stream. They often assist employees in adopting the new robotically augmented processes. Robot teaming coordinators, they understand the human elements that are in play at the handoffs between the humans and also create a harmony that optimizes the strengths of both partners in the integrated work stream. The robot teaming coordinator is generally responsible for monitoring robot performance and providing feedback to programmers to optimize robot value. All these may sound foreign right now, but in the future, they will be part of the manufacturing lingo. Isn't that cool? 
Now it's time to discuss about how to attract future talent. Talent is always available, but attracting the right people is our top concern, surpassing that for all manual costs. And we all know that the traditional image of working in a mill shop is no longer as attractive as for younger workers as it was for the generations before them. So, how to attract future talent? We believe our industry is attractive for future mill workers, and I have good reasons for you to believe as well. First of all, let's think about what motivates employees to do their jobs well. Competitions with co-workers for some. The promise of rewards, maybe for others. Also, the pure enjoyment of problem solving, maybe, for a lucky few. Increasingly, companies in our industry will tap into these desires directly through what's come to be known as gamification. That is essentially turning work into a game. In practice, by means of monitoring employee productivity on a digital leaderboard and offering prizes to the winners and giving employees digital badges or stars for completing certain activities. It could also mean training workers how to do their jobs through video game platforms. Wouldn't that be ideal for the future mill workers who are born in the PlayStation generation? Secondly, since the veneer, plywood, and LVL productions will inevitably become more automated and AI-driven, it's clear that the mill workers they also need constant education on software or digital skills. There are so many opportunities to grow their skills and career within the industry. AI, the Internet of Things, and blockchain technology, they are causing a sea change across the industry. All cutting-edge developments that an ambitious young professional would love to experience. We believe this process know-how and the digital skills are something that one can take with him or her no matter where one works in the process industry. And thirdly, the working environment of the mill is improving. Legislations and regulations by various authorities, together with the enhanced automation, they push the mills to become more quiet, dustless, and odorless. In other words, cleaner places to work. Last but not the least, Digital tools are the tools in the future. There's so much automation and technologies involved that the machine is self-governing and generates data that provides insights into operational performance and also the potential for further optimization. In other words, wrenches are no longer needed by future mill workers. Instead, they will be replaced with various hands of devices and wearables. The workforce is steadily becoming one that is manufacturing savvy as well as equipped to use the latest technology, turn data into insights, and learn new machinery with ease in the context of the factory. Well, your journey with me will end soon. How's the picture in your mind about the future of a mill worker? Isn't it cool, clean, and clever? <laughs>